I'm always looking for unwanted synthesizers and drum machines, whether they're functional or faulty. I hope to save as many of these fantastic machines and keep them working and making music for as long as possible. This is my synth quest. In this episode of Synth Quest, we're checking out the Boss DR55 drum machine. The Boss DR55 Analog Programmable Drum Machine was released in 1979. It debuted as the first model in Boss's Dr. Rhythm series, and was also one of the first step-right programmable drum machines of its time. The DR55 inherited some of its sound DNA, iconic black and orange color scheme, knobs and buttons, from the Roland CR78 CompuRhythm, which was also adopted by the DR55's big cousin, the Roland TR808. Included with the DR55 was an illustrated user manual, a sample rhythm programming guide, a warranty card, and complimentary Boss logo stickers. The DR55 runs on four AA batteries, has a single unbalanced quarter-inch line output, and a footswitch input for use with the Roland FS1 footswitch. There is a DVS output which sends a plus 5 volt pulse every 8 milliseconds, and is capable of driving a Roland Jupiter 4 arpeggiator clock. There is also a CSQ output which sends a plus 4 volt pulse every 10 milliseconds. This is used to synchronize the DR55 with a Roland CSQ100 sequencer. The DR55 has four sounds, bass, snare, rim shot, and hi-hat. Only the bass, snare, and rim shot can be programmed into user-made patterns, while the hi-hat has a switch to select either an 8th or 16th note preset pattern. Accents can be programmed, and you can globally adjust the accent volume, master volume, master tone, and tempo. The DR55 has eight memory slots to store patterns. Six of these memory slots are for 4-4 patterns that are up to 16 notes long, and two slots are for 3-4 patterns that are up to 12 notes long. In each of the eight memory slots, you can record two variations, A and B. There is a switch to select either variation in record and playback modes, as well as a center position to record and play both A and B variations consecutively. Programming the unit is done by switching to write mode and selecting a drum sound to program. Steps are entered with the start button and rests are entered with the stop button. The beginning of a pattern is indicated when the red LED is lit. Pattern playback is enabled by switching to play mode and pressing the start button. Let's check out some of the factory patterns outlined in the sample rhythm booklet.
if you're thinking of getting one of these, I suggest checking out the battery compartment first to make sure there is no corrosion or damage to the circuit board. If you have a unit that has faults and won't program or playback patterns, then you should try and clean the switch contacts first as this can be an easy fix. If you want to adjust the tones without modification, you can open the unit up and turn a few of the trim potentiometers on the main PCB. Some versions only have fixed resistors in some positions. I'm really privileged to have this DR55 in the Madfame studio and can definitely appreciate its place in drum machine history. If you have any unwanted synths or drum machines, then you can donate them to SynthQuest for use in a future episode. Be sure to like and subscribe, and don't miss out on the next episode of SynthQuest. <laughs>